All right. Hey, listen. It's a long time in the making here. Long time in the making here. Okay? You guys have been working out since December, getting ready for this night. This night. Okay? Countdown clock. Counting down to this night. This night. Okay? Where we get to play Bosco. Where they get to travel down here one last time and you get to play them. Okay? Then they agree to play us. Okay? And what it's been is it's been nothing but us beating them down. That's what it's going to continue to be. This night. This night is them coming down here. Coming down here for the last time. And when their people want to look back and say, hey, it'd be fun to drive eight miles again and play Columbia City. I want them to pull up the last year we played, see the score, and say, there's no way, no way we should ever do it. Because we don't want to get embarrassed like they're going to get embarrassed right here, right now, tonight. Let's take care of this. August 3rd, 2024, officially started the Columbia City Eagles football season. And what a way to start the season with a 42-0 score. That's incredibly impressive. CC came out of the game a little sluggish and slow. But that's okay because as the game progressed, so did their intensity and their enthusiasm. I think the team performed really well. At the beginning, we didn't come out too hot. We, we obviously punted right away. But after that, we started to pick up, and then we scored a bunch of touchdowns. And this is shown because... Even though they came out a little slow, going into halftime, it was still 28 to zero. That is exponentially good. Uh, halftime, we were definitely up, so I was thinking uh, I was going to get in because I am a second team, so I was kind of excited about that. The enthusiasm you felt on the field was explosive. All throughout the night, you could hear the sidelines cheering. I mean, it's great. Like, I feel like we're all buddies outside of football, you know, so it, we just we just have that extra level of connection, you know. We're just great. You know, it's great. Yeah, oh, I mean, we get along great. I mean, no team drama at all. No, like, nobody hates each other. Like, like, as fr like, we're just friends, too. Like, we're just a group of guys that are friends. So when you have that, it's pretty easy to get along, so. The team's bonded and so good. I have, I feel like I have chemistry with everyone. I feel like I could talk to everyone, even the freshmen, which you don't, we don't get to see a lot. And overall, the team played wonderfully together. I noticed on the sidelines while getting film that even when a teammate messed up accidentally, his other teammates didn't immediately scold him and try to bring him down. Instead. They lectured him and brought him back and told him what his mistakes were so he could fix it later on. And on the sidelines, if you're standing there, you'll hear them constantly talk about, hey, next time, if this guy's going in like this, you need a block like this and other such comments. I'd say it definitely makes the people out in the field work harder. It uh, gives you motivation and it uh, overall helps team spirit. Being able to play in the game, the adrenaline, I don't know, it just felt crazy to me, especially for the first game of the season. It felt so good to play. It was fun to play. I had an amazing time. The seniors this year will never have another first game of football. And I must say, what a way to end a first game. The team coming together after all the hard work they put into. I mean, we held them to zero. I think we... I think we did good. I think like every game, there's, you're going to have some flaws in there that need hammered out. It's amazing to see all of these pieces come together. After all the time they put in, all the effort they put in, to put that much up on the board on their first game shows to me and hopefully everyone else in the city that they have put forth the effort and the time throughout summer, in their preseason workouts, and during practice. And I expect great things coming from the Eagles later on down the road. Next week at Plymouth might be difficult, but with the success we saw in their first game, I expect nothing less going to week two. The eruption of the crowd whenever Tyler Faust made a touchdown will forever be memorized and memorialized by the seniors of 2024 to 2025. This is their last first game, and they made sure that 
everyone knew that it was their last. From putting up the score of 48 nothing to the immense support they showed JV once they got on the field. And JV did go on the field. Once we had a running clock on Chair Busco, Varsity was done playing and JV went onto the field. I felt like we were motivated to get in as a JV team for a Varsity game, just to be in the game. And I felt like it was just the best thing I've ever done. But those Varsity guys still supported the JV guys on the field. I feel like we all did well. We warmed up together, we played hard together, and we're just good at being a team together. Overall, I feel the team did incredibly well throughout the entirety of the game. I think we did uh, pretty solid. Uh, a lot of mistakes that we needed to fix that day. Um, but overall, we played a really good game. They played intense. They communicated well. And their communication was shown throughout the game. It was a great night to be a Columbia City Eagle. Uh, go Eagles. Play is one. Fly to the ball. Let's just win, man. Go Eagles, and uh, we're the real Eagles. All at the guards turn out the lights. This one belongs to the Maroon and Gold.